Hey! <laughs> Today I'm going to discuss something that I've seen many, many videos on on YouTube, and I've seen many, many websites, and they just are annoying because the information is incorrect. The question is ink cartridges. They're expensive, and yes, you can buy the refill kits, but what a lot of people have seemed to be discovering is, is once I buy the kit and I refill my ink cartridge, I've been putting it back in my printer, and my printer says the ink cartridge is empty. And a lot of the newer printers, because they're getting smart, are not letting you print when the ink cartridge says it's empty. How does this little ink cartridge tell the printer I'm empty? That's one question. The other question is, is how do I refill these things? Well, as far as refilling them, you can buy the kits online. They're really inexpensive. And depending on which ink cartridge you have, you can go online and get the information that tells you where to drill a hole. You're going to have to drill a hole. There are a lot of videos on YouTube where I've seen this very same ink cartridge and somebody drills a hole down here in the front. What's inside here is an a sponge and it holds the ink be smart if you put it down there some some of it may leak this one for instance the instructions on the internet say between the white and the black line drill a hole right there take the syringe put it in and fill it and then go ahead and try it now what you're going to discover is, is like this is my for my Lexmark it's a Lexmark 100 in cartridges when I put this back immediately the ink or the printer says the ink level is low or out how it works is like this. I'm going to show you all. Take a little screwdriver. Michonne will now use her sword and remove it. No. <laughs> By the way, these are my wives. She's a Walking Dead fanatic. Okay. I'm going to just take it and remove the label here. I really don't care about these because I've already replaced them and I'm not going to refill them. If you've got an X-Acto knife, use it but I've just got a screwdriver and I'm being lazy. <laughs> if I remove the label back, you're going to see... Actually, I'm going to take the label all the way off. First of all, you can see that there's where the hole is going to be where you refill this. This is an RF ID chip. What this little chip does, and I mean, you, you can remove it. I don't know if it pop out. It's glued in there. Just take a little knife and this will pop out. You can take this out because what this little chip does is it tells the printer the ID of this cartridge. Eh, it's not, it's not gonna be snickety. It doesn't touch anything. It's not connected to anything. It's just a radio frequency chip that's gonna tell the printer, hey, this is this ink cartridge. That information is stored in the printer and what it'll do is it'll calculate how many pages this cartridge can print before it says I'm empty. It's a calculated guess. I don't know what algorithm Lexmark uses to come up with that number or whatever, but it's a determination. The cartridge may not be empty. The cartridge may still have some ink in it, but as far as the printer is concerned, it's near empty or empty. Now you go in here and you drill your little hole and you fill the ink back up in there and you put this cartridge back in there, the same information is being given to the printer. As far as the printer is concerned, this cartridge is empty, so it will not work. And just to show you, I'm going to open up another one here. Like I said, if you've got a knife, use a knife, but... Now changing out this one and replacing it with another used cartridge isn't going to do you darn good because that one is empty as well. There's no point in taking out a brand new ink cartridge's cartridge and putting another one in there because, well, what's the point? But you can buy these online. I just checked with a company, um, I'll put their information on my thread that will give this cartridge a new reference number and that way the printer will think oh it's a brand new cartridge starts to cycle all over again in my case I haven't found a way to tell the Lexmark printer forget those numbers and start over from scratch again that's something that you're not going to get from Lexmark either because they want you to buy a brand new cartridge 
Okay, but like I said, uh, the price for these that I found online were two dollars and seventy-nine cents. You can buy them in bulk for like two dollars and twelve cents. And all you have to do is don't rip this all the way off. Rip it back. Take your exacto knife. Pull that chip out. Put the new chip in. Put the label back after you refill it. And this cartridge is going to seem to the Lexmark printer that it's a brand new cartridge. Hopefully that helps. Now. There is a ton of information out on the web. that tell you how to try to reset your printer so that it doesn't remember any of these old numbers and starts from scratch. None of them work. Turning the printer off four or five times, holding this button, holding that button, putting your toe and facing it towards your tummy, put your nose on your knee and hop, hop, hop like a big bunny, will not reset the printer. The only way that I know to get around that is to buy a new chip, stick it in there, refill the cartridge, put the cartridge back in, and then it's going to be fine. There's also some information that I've noticed that says, oh, well, these cartridges send information to your uh, registry on your computer. Yes, it does. But what it does is that information is more or less just the type of cartridge, date, code, things like that. That information, yes, for all you spy freaks out there, is sent back to Lexmark. But erasing that information off your registry isn't going to stop the printer from not working. That information is in the printer. It's remembering what this cartridge is, how many times it's been used, and that it's empty. You've got to start over again. New chip, new ink, and you're good to go. Daryl and Michonne, face off. The Walking Dead Series 5 is now over! Dun, dun, dun. This is my daughter, Kaylee. She's so cute. Look. <laughs> okay, we're done here. I hope it helps.